Hey Sporklers, welcome back to your most difficult how-to video yet. We've done classic, clickable, and slideshow, but you've never seen anything quite like this before. Today, we're learning how to make a picture click quiz. If you haven't contributed a quiz before, definitely take a look at our classic, clickable, and slideshow tutorials before attempting this. The picture click format is a bit more complex and builds off of the basics in those tutorials. While picture click might not be as familiar to you, they are just as fun to play. So don't be afraid and let's jump right in. First, navigate to the game management dashboard and click create a Sporkle quiz. We're going with click the vegetables this time. This contributed game sounds similar to ours, but they're dabbling in other languages, which is overachieving for us. So we're good to go. We'll change the game type to picture click and hit create quiz. The first thing you'll probably notice is the second box here, game image URL. Like on slideshow quizzes, you need a direct image link for a picture click quiz. We already found the one we want for this quiz, so we'll go grab that from Imgur now. So whatever picture link is in this box is going to be the base image of our quiz. We'll fill out these other fields, and we're ready to save our game info. Now before we get into editing our picture, we have to input our data. Going to the data tab, it looks exactly like it did for classic clickable and slideshow quizzes. Now our picture had a lot of different veggies, but we're just going to choose a few for now. Our hint today is going to be the name of the vegetable. So we've got bell peppers, zucchini, yellow squash, eggplant, cucumber, and radicchio. Now we're going to copy the same things into the answer column. These two fields don't have to be the same, our quiz is just so simple and it makes sense. The answer column has all of the labels that will appear when the right answer is selected. It's also the answer column that you'll see when you make your shapes on the picture map. Now that we have all those entered, we can go back to our game info tab. We'll click edit map, and now the real fun begins. All of the answers we put in our data tab will appear in a little answer box over here. What we're going to do now is draw all of the boundaries for our answers. The first answer we have here is bell pepper. We're going to click on the answer, and then bell pepper should show up in the selected area up here. This selection also shows you the hint that will be shown when guessing the question. We'll go ahead and click draw shape area and start drawing our box. Since the bell peppers span the entire top row, we're going to circle all of it as our answer. By clicking on the edge, the tool lays down a point for our shape. When we have all of our bordering points down, we can close the shape by either clicking our original point or clicking the close shape button at the top. After we finish drawing our shape, our points are still movable. I notice that our left border doesn't go all the way to the edge, so we'll click and drag that so that it does. Now, when guessed, the answer pin will appear wherever it's anchored, so we'll go ahead and drag it on top of that area now. Now that you've seen how to do one, I'll save you the trouble of watching the others. It's this part of the quiz that can take a little bit of time. Okay, now that we're done with the shape drawing, our quiz is basically done. When you complete a shape or move a tag, you'll see a yellow box that says Change is saved pop up at the top of the map. Since we know it's saved, we're free to click Test Game and give it a shot. This quiz looks really great now. As always, there are plenty more options to tinker with, but I really like this quiz as is, and I think it's ready to contribute. Let's go back to the edit page, head to the finish up tab, and launch our game to the public. And there we have it. Our first picture click game is done. Picture click is probably my favorite format to play on Sporkle, so if you haven't made a quiz yet, I'd definitely try it out. The possibilities with this quiz type are endless. Thanks for watching, we hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to leave us a thumbs up and comment with what tutorial you'd like to see next. As always, there's plenty more quiz creation info on the Sporkle blog, so check that out for more picture click tips or to get started with other quiz formats. Good luck!